hello guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorials on how to create drainage roof drainage systems in Revit. okay so as you can see we have already modeled a basic box um, a perimeter wall then um, place the roof on it so we're just going to go straight to it immediately so we are going to go to the architecture tab go to the roof tab and click the drop down button and click on roof gutter okay so we're now going to select our gutter and edit the parameters as you can see it's, um, you can just change it to handrail rectangular gutter but i think this gutter profile level 150 by 1 is okay and the material we have already set it to aluminum material you can change it anytime you want but i think this material is good enough so after doing that we're going to just select edge and the gutter the gutter is created okay so um this gutter now like the edges are open like kind of open-ended so we're now going to um create a, a model to just fill it in uh, cover the the, uh, the open-ended parts up. okay so i'm just going to use an extrusion and select this plane then just select the edges of the profile just to quickly create the extrusion so we're just going to trim this okay and set it at five millimeters and also set it to be the same material as the gutter the, the material we use for the gutter okay so once you have created this as you can see it's coming out so i'll just i'm just going to change it to the minus five millimeters then click on the copy tab and remove the constraints to just copy it to the other end so it will be as fast as possible in this room okay but well now we're just going to adjust it to just flush it okay so i think it looks good now that's it so now we have successfully created the gutter so now we are now going to create the pipe that will drain this gutter down to the ground okay so to do that we're going to go to systems under systems we go to pipe okay the first thing we're going to do is to edit and um, modify and set the plane and we are going to pick the plane as the wall this wall as a plane okay i'm just going to use the wall as a reference plane for the pipe where the pipe will flow so we're now going to go to elevation let's see which elevation we put let's go to Elevations, let's go to south. Uh, I think this should work. No, I think not should work best. Okay, I'm going to hide these levels because it's just obstructing our view. Okay, so we'll go to six times and click on pipe. So, in the pipe, I'm just going to click on edit type and select the kind of pipe you want. So, they say pipe segment is um carbon steel let's just use this carbon steel schedule 80 and this is the minimum and maximum size okay so now currently we are going to need this elbow segment here we're going to need to load in a component because it's showing the pipe elbows as not so we're going to load in an elbow if not we'll only be able to draw the pipe in one direction so we're just going to click ok for now and click ok then we're now going to draw our pipe at automatically connect then we'll start drawing the pipe okay if you notice now we can't actually change the direction because as i said earlier the pipe doesn't have any elbow so we're going to load in an elbow family from our default revit library okay so we're going to go to insert then click on load family then under this english we're going to look for pipe okay we're now going to look for, go to into fittings and enter generic then look for generic elbow okay or we can choose so let's just use normal generic elbow and load it into the project then we're now just going to go back to systems then go to pipe again okay then click edit then edit this routine parameters then select this elbow and um, generic standard elbow we just imported and set the size as let's say 15 just so it will be the same with this pipe segment 
okay then we're just going to click okay and we're going to now draw our pipe so we're going to drop it down at let's say 600 here at incline it at an angle of 45 and just drop it down and then let's drop it down since we won't want the pipe to just be pouring directly on the wall of the building so we'll just avoid things like all this pyrogyra then so we're just going to bring out the pipe a bit by let's say 150 just so it will look nice so as you can see what we are seeing on this view is only lines the reason is because our um, display option is in course so we are going to reset it at fine details so as you can see the pipe has created these are those elbows i imported okay so we're going to go to 3d and see how it is okay as you can see it's out of place so we can easily solve that by just selecting the pipes then dragging it and setting it well okay and as easy as it is we have just completely created a drainage system for this roof please if you like the video hit the, the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button and also share with your friends and hit the notification bell to get notified when we release new contents so thank you and have a nice day